Good day, my friends. This is Emperor Jackson. I am the senior pastor here at First United Methodist Church in Tupelo. It is indeed an honor and privilege again to be sharing another devotion with you, God's people. This week, I'd like to talk about time management, if you will, or trying to make sure that we spend time in prayer and contemplation and meditation with God. Our schedules are so busy, so full of so many things, sometimes we find it difficult to spend time with God. Recently at a staff meeting, we asked the staff to always share devotions and to uplift different thoughts that are on their mind. And not just the preachers, but all of the staff take turns uplifting devotions. This past week, there was one where he talked about how we spend so much time on t social media, TV, doing other things. We don't spend enough time with God. I'd like to read to you from Mark, the first chapter, verse 35. Mark 1, 35. Hear now these words. In the morning, while it was still very dark... He got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. It's talking about Jesus and how Jesus, even though Jesus is the Son of God, and even though Jesus is the Savior of the whole wide world, and even though Jesus is the second person in the Trinity, how this same Jesus had to take time out to pray. How this Jesus who's able to cure those who are sick, open the eyes of the blind, to cleanse the lepers, to give those who had not strength to walk the ability to walk, the same Jesus who was able to raise Lazarus from the dead, the same Jesus took time out of his busy schedule to spend time in prayer and reflection with God. Later on in this passage of scripture, the disciples come to Jesus and they say, everybody is looking for you. Where have you been? And Jesus reminds them that he's been in prayer with his father. This week, it may seem like it's almost impossible, but I would encourage each and every one of us to spend time in prayer, to spend time in reflection. Nowadays, if you watch a sporting event, you can play it back later. You can even do the same with movies and items on social media. But let us take a little time out of our busy schedules to spend time with God. Will you do that this week? Will you spend a little time, a little time, just a small amount of time, in prayer and uplifting God? I think if we do, we'll all feel much better and we'll benefit from it. Let us bow our heads. Almighty and everlasting God, thank you for this time today. Strengthen and guide us and allow us truly to be uplifted by you. And may we spend time, dear God, not just on ourselves, but time with you, almighty God. This we ask in thy name. Amen. <laughs>